looks like Marvel Studios has found their Fantastic Four Silver Surfer, but I'm sure it's going to raise some eyebrows. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about this alternate version of the Silver Surfer, what actress is taking up the role, and why people probably need to cool their jets because it's pretty clear what they're doing. Now, before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently, so you are in the know. Well, we've been hearing for a while that the Fantastic Four could possibly cast a female for Silver Surfer, and now the trades are indeed reporting that they have found their Silver Surfer, and it's in the form of Ozark star Julia Garner. Now, she is an Emmy Award winning actress, picking them up for Ozarks and inventing Anna. And she will indeed play the Silver Surfer in the movie, but before everybody gets up in arms, she's not a gender switch take on Norn Rad. According to these reports, Garner will actually take up the role of Shala Ball. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Shala Ball, well, that's perfectly okay. But in the Marvel Comics continuity, she was the Empress of the planet Zen La, and was the first love of Norn Rad. Now, over the years in Marvel Comics, she has appeared in various forms, and during one alternate Earth take of the character, Shala Ball also became a Silver Surfer with Norn Rad. This particular version pretty much has all the same powers as the traditional 616 Silver Surfer, but it takes place in a universe that has quite the convoluted story involving Franklin Richards, who becomes the new Galactus and actually allows the Silver Surfer and Shalom Ball to reunite and imbues her with the same cosmic energy that powers the Surfer, making them twin heralds. In that series, Galactus is eventually called back to Earth to battle Celestials, and this version of the character is indeed killed. Now, I can already hear the moaning from some corners of the internet about this casting and the potential for the character being gender swapped, but I absolutely encourage everybody to take a deep breath. This is not the Norn Rad version of the character, and we have known and reported for quite a while that this version of the Fantastic Four may indeed hail from a different place in the multiverse. Now, so far, we haven't been given any clues on where this could possibly happen, but this particular story hails from Earth X which was a completely different take on the Marvel Universe. If you've never read it, it's really worth a look. And they do a lot of different things with classic Marvel characters, just in a completely different way. It's a pretty incredible series from writer Jim Kruger and Alex Ross. The art is wonderful, and the series itself does something quite different with the Marvel Universe and involves the Celestials at the center of a big conflict. With the Celestials getting introduced in the Eternals, it totally has me thinking that this particular version of the Fantastic Four will more than likely be from this version of Earth, or a very similar one, and will ultimately end up in the 616, where more than likely Marvel will establish another Silver Surfer. Now, even if you don't like the casting, Garner is one heck of an actress and has delivered in all kinds of roles. I actually got to know her in Ozark, and her character was absolutely wonderful. She is an up-and-rising actress who I think has a bright future in Hollywood, and although I suspect this Silver Surfer casting will be a one-and-done, having her in the Marvel Universe is nothing but a win. She's an awesome actress, and I'm really curious on what they're doing with this particular version and how it ties into this alternate Earth storyline. Earth X is a great read. Like I said, I encourage you to check it out. I've actually linked it down below, and I absolutely encourage everybody to hold on to their hats because I think Marvel is going to do something different with this, and honestly, if they're pulling from Earth X, well, that might be a lot of fun.